Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're talking about five tips to help you make more putts out on the golf course. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the like button while you're at it. It means the world to me. Let's get right into the video. All right, first tip I have for you guys today is to get fit for your putter. A fit putter can make all the difference in the world. What do I mean by that? Well, not only length, but the style putter can make all the difference. This year, I went to more of a face balance putter, which means if I just rest this shaft in my hand here, you're gonna see that the face is completely level with the ground. That's considered a face balance putter. That's gonna be a putter that's better for a straight back, straight forward stroke, which is something that I typically like to putt with. Now, if you have a putter that you have in your shaft and the, the toe hangs straight down like this, that would be a toe hang putter that's gonna be better for more of an arc fitting. And what I was using in the past was a little bit of a combination between a face balance and a toe hang, so we had a little bit of toe hang on it. That's probably a little bit better for just a little bit of an in to out path. But this year, a more of a face balance putter for me has made all the difference. I went with a little bit of a bigger head with more like a bigger line that's gonna help me with my alignment. That's made a huge difference for me. And I also went, went an inch longer. I went to 36 inches this year. I felt like I was, as a guy who's six foot five inches tall, I felt like bending down a little bit too much. If you're in a putter that's too short for you or too long for you, you could be bending down too much or standing up too much. And what that can do is add tension to your arms, okay? And tension to everything that you have going on with your body. And it's just gonna really make you tight. And it's not gonna allow for that tension-free stroke that we want when we're putting. So get fit for your putter. It can make all the difference in the world. You gotta be kidding me. I can't believe I missed that putt. I should make that every single time. All right, tip number two here, guys. Managing your expectation. Confidence is so big when it comes to putting, and if we're not managing our expectations properly, it can actually ruin our confidence. That putt, I had a 12-foot putt there for my birdie, and a lot of golfers think that they should make that putt every single time. But in actuality, the tour percentage that they make this putt is 30% of the time. Okay, so if a tour player is making a 12 foot putt 30% of the time, what makes you think that you need to make this putt every single time? Now I just hit a pretty good putt there, just missed on the high side, and I have a tap in for my par. That's not a bad putt that I just hit, okay? I can't expect to make that 12 footer every single time. In fact, I can expect to make it 30% of the time, okay? So we need to keep that confidence up, okay? Realize we hit a good putt, we just missed it on the high side, maybe overread it a little bit. Even if we pushed it a little bit, that's okay. We hit a great speed putt and we got our two putt. The one thing we can't do from 12 feet is three putt. Okay, these tour players are only three putting these 12, 13 footers 1% of the time. So that should be the same for us. So don't expect to make it every single time. That's gonna help you keep your confidence up so that you're gonna make more putts out on the course. All right, tip number three here is gonna be a little more technical. We also have a little bit of a drill here as well. But what we're trying to do is to find our dominant hand when putting. So what I want you to do is hit four or five putts with each hand, okay? I'm gonna start here with my, my right hand, okay? Because for me, I feel my right hand is a little bit better. I feel it's a little bit more natural for me to putt with my right hand than it is to putt with my left hand. My left hand just feels a little more goofy, okay? Even though I made that right in the heart. But I seem to miss putts a little bit more to the right with my left hand. So for me, my right hand is gonna be a little bit more dominant in the putting stroke when I am putting it correctly, or when I'm putting it my best. Okay, so one drill that I like to use here, I'm sure you might have seen this before, but it's the Tiger Woods drill, and I think it's worth noting here when we're talking about one-handed putts, is just to line your putter in the center of the ball and put two tees on either side of your putter. Now you want these tees to be pretty close to your putter maybe a little bit of an eighth of an inch gap, something that there's not a huge gap there to fit our putter through this gate. If we can hit one hand putts here and not hit that gate, that'll be a huge drill for us. We're gonna take our opposite hand, just put it next to our side here. But if we can putt, hit through this gate, center of the, center of the uh, putter, we're gonna be in good shape. And just because my right hand is my dominant hand, I'm not gonna just do this drill with just my right hand. I also wanna do this drill with my left as well, okay? Just to improve upon 
that left hand. Can we go five for five with the tiger gate drill? Come on, left hand, don't fail me now. We got it. So a big part of this tip, obviously, is to find our dominant hand. For me, it's my right hand. Like I said, it's gonna be a little more dominant. It's gonna take over a little bit more in my putting stroke, and that's when I'm putting my best. So try that, try to find your dominant hand, try to feel like it's a little more uh, dominant and taking over in your putting stroke, it might just help you. Tip number four here might be the most important tip of this entire video, in my opinion. It really has to do with having a follow through that's the same length, if not shorter, than your takeaway. So many times we see amateur golfers just take this putter back real short and quick with a long follow through. What's the issue with that? Well, the issue is they're pushing the ball more than hitting the putt. I was down in Nashville a couple weeks ago filming with Brent Snedeker. He has a notorious pop stroke where he pretty much just stops the putter as he hits it. And he's one of the greatest putters of all time. And he was telling me, look at all of the best putters in the world. He was telling me, Josh, look at all, all the greatest putters of all time. They all have shorter follow throughs than they do takeaways. Even mo most golfers, most tour players these days that you'll look at will at least have the same length follow through as a takeaway to ensure that they're hitting the putt and not trying to push the putt, okay? So many times, like I said, Amber, if you get here, you see a lot of golfers come back here and with a really long follow through, okay? What is, like I said, what's the issue with that is that they're trying to push the, the, push the putt, especially on the shorter ones, they'll almost double hit it with their putter. The ball is almost staying on the face for longer. We really wanted the sensation of hitting the putt, okay? We're, the follow through is just a little bit shorter than the takeaway, okay? And that's gonna help get that ball rolling. A good drill here to do is, what you wanna do is just put a tee down about a grip length in front of the putter, okay? This is for a longer putt. Just don't really worry about that hole right there. Okay, I'm gonna hit this putt well past the hole. What I want you to do here, what I want you to do here is get that putter past, okay, the outside of your right foot for a right-handed golfer, okay? And then what I want you to do is stop the putter before it hits this tee on the way by. Okay, that time I hit the tee. I'm, this is for me, this has been one of the biggest helps in my putting is this drill because I was one of those guys that got short quick and long, okay, on my follow through. And it's something I still continue to work on here. So let's try that one more time. Okay, this is a good drill to just get that in mind. Now, what we don't want to do is decelerate into the ball. I don't want you stopping your club into the ball by taking it back and then slowing it down. Obviously, a lot of people that you talk to, a lot of my students that I talk, tell about you know, hitting the ball more and a little bit of a shorter follow through, they say, isn't that deselling? No, there's a difference. It's almost like your putter is accelerating into the ball and then hitting a wall. Okay, we wanna feel like this putter is accelerating, okay, but we're stopping after impact. That tip is gonna really help so many of you golfers out there. Give it a try, especially if you're somebody who is short and quick and follow throughs too much it's really gonna help you. It's really gonna help you get that ball rolling and feel like you're hitting putts instead of trying to push them into the hole. Tip number five here, this is a little bit hard to explain, but I heard on the Golf Channel a couple weeks ago from an older tour pro, forgive me, I forget who it was, but he said it changed his putting forever. And it's pretty simple, pretty easy concept, but I think it's a great little tip here, is to just get this ball rolling end over end as quick as we possibly can. Okay, so getting this ball rolling, almost like we're hitting up on it just a little bit, okay, and just getting this line going towards our target and rolling over and over and over until it gets to our target. Like I said, it seems like a little simple tip, but you know, this tour pro said it really helped him and it's really helped my game a lot too. So taking a look at your target here, this is a straight putt, so I'm looking more at you know the back of the cup here, and I'm just gonna try to get this ball rolling end over end. And it's, like I said, it seems so simple, but it can, I think it's really gonna help your game if you give it a try. 
Just get the ball rolling. Towards the back of the cup. I mean, all we need to do is get the ball rolling. Just roll it, roll it in. So we're combining everything we talked about. Okay, how far of a putt we ha do we have here? One, two, we got about a seven footer. So we're making this, tour players are probably making this 50% of the time, okay? So if we do miss this one out of two times, it's not the end of the world. We obviously cannot three putt this. We're, we're thinking about our speed here, okay? It's a little bit of a downhill putt, so we don't have to hit this too hard here. We wanna hit this about a foot past the hole. Well, okay, so we have, we have that figured out. We're talking about our dominant hand. I'm more of a right dominant hand, so I'm gonna feel that a little bit longer. The fourth tip is, okay, we're gonna have a little bit of a shorter follow through than we do takeaway. And the fifth tip, we're gonna get this ball rolling end over end, and I'm really hoping that this ball goes in. Oh, all right, we just missed it. But I think it goes back to kind of what we talked about in that second tip. You know, we, we can't be overly disappointed with that miss. We have our tap in par here, okay? And we made four out of five, which is well above tour average. I know we had the same exact putt, but really if we're making one out of every two of those seven, eight footers, then we're on par for the tour percentage and we can't be too mad at that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helps you make more putts out on the course. Putting can be tough. Uh, you know, we can go through peaks and valleys. So to try to keep that confidence up, continue to grind, continue to work on that game and you're gonna see more putts go in. So again, thanks so much for watching this. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. We're doing these videos every single week. And if you haven't already, smash that thumbs up button as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. We'll see you next episode.